We're going to talk about the significance of calculus in biology. Calculus is used for various circumstances in biology, but we'll talk specifically about how rates of change is related to tumor growth. What is a rate of change? It is the speed at which a variable changes over a specific period of time and can be expressed by the change of y over the change of x. But in this case of finding the rate of change in a tumor, we'll instead use the change in volume over the change in time. The change of volume is the final volume minus the initial volume. The change in time is the final time minus the initial time. Growth rate of a tumor. The rate at which a tumor grows is directly proportional to volume. A larger tumor grows faster and a smaller tumor grows slower. Later on, we will show you examples to prove these theories. The volume of a tumor is found by using the exponential growth model, which is V of T equals V naught times E to the KT. V naught is the initial volume when time is zero and E is the exponential growth. K is growth, the growth constant, and T equals time. In order to find the rate of change in tumor growth, you must take the derivative of the volume equation. V prime of T is equal to the V naught times the derivative with respect to T times E to the KT. We only find the D derivative of e to the kt because v naught is a constant and gets moved to the front. When finding the derivative of e to the kt, we use the chain rule, which leaves us with v prime v naught times k times e to the kt. In this example, we're going to use a larger tumor to determine its rate of change each year over a period of five years. So we're going to use a tumor when its initial volume is 10 centimeters cubed with a growth constant of 0 0.002 over a time period of five years. First, we use the equation V of T equals V naught times E to the KT to find V. We'll plug in 10 for the initial volume, plug in five for time, and then we'll plug in 0 0.002 for the growth constant. Once we find V, we can plug that into the equation V prime of T equals k times v to find the rate of change per year. Once we plug in k, which is 0 0.002, and v, which is 10.102, we'll get the answer 0 0.0202 centimeters cubed, which would mean that the tumor grows 0 0.0202 centimeters cubed per year. Using the same example, we are going to change the larger tumor to a smaller tumor. So instead of the tumor being 10 centimeters cubed, it is now 5 centimeters cubed, therefore making the V equal to 5.05 and changing the growth rate from 0 0.0202 centimeters cubed per year to 0 0.0101 centimeters cubed per year. Proving the previous statement of Larger tumors growing faster and smaller tumors growing slower. Hi, I'm Chloe. Hi, I'm Brianne. Hi, I'm Evan. And this concludes our video about how calculus is related to biology by determining uh, the rate by which a particular tumor may grow.